Hey guys, Rob here at uh, Dog Walking Incorporated. It's, uh, it's been a hot minute since we had uh, finished off this doggy daycare project. And uh, I got a, a comment and I thought, oh my Lord, I hadn't even finished the, the finale video. And I didn't even really show the whole, the, the whole uh, putting up the fence part, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you the, uh, the fence and the whole doggy daycare. And I'll just try and talk about some of the highlights of, uh, of the challenges. So here we go. Take a look. You can see that we got a fence around and um, right like so it's we've got the wood chips in we still have the asphalt uh, ground that's going to change it's been a little bit of a, a debate as to what's best for what we want to do we're going to put the we're going to put green uh, grass artificial grass around this area maybe some wood chips we're not 100 percent but uh, but this is worked out this is working out really well and you can see look at the um the uh, base here it's all these things I uh, I jackhammered the whole thing in I actually uh, there's one spot here if I can find oh yeah right here you can see this that I had to I, I, I crushed the um, it it actually dislodged the the jackhammer dislodged the um, from the base from the actual footing and so I had to do a new a new one and that was the only one. It, every time I did one, it felt like I was gonna break it. Like, you can see the beating that these things take. But this is all, um, it's all from, it's all gone through a winter. So it's gone through a frost phase. So there was no frost heave. And I don't know if it's different every year, uh, but I've been happy with how it held up over, over the course of the winter. Actually, there's one here. You can see that's lifted up a little bit, so I could probably push that down if I if I really wanted to. Um, but it's it's in it's sturdy, like it's I'm not it's not moving too much, so it's it's pretty good. I'm 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 quite happy with it. You've got the door here, the gate. I just made a quick gate and uh, got my Bluetooth lock, and it looks basically like this. Like you can see from the outside how it looks. I just grabbed the shipping container for nice storage. These are so affordable, so good. Two thousand bucks, and um, two thousand bucks, and you can store a bunch of stuff in there, and that's yours. You can keep it. You can deliver it everywhere you go. I think it costs like one hundred and fifty bucks to deliver them somewhere. Anyways, this is the outside of the fence, and uh, so you can see how it looks. It's it's interesting. We're obviously at a little bit of a, a lower capacity right now because of friggin' COVID. But here's my other gate right there. You can't even see it, but this is what it looks like. And so like just, it's, it's just like putting the boards up, it was easy. I just did the, the put the two by fours. I, once I put the four by fours in the footing, I screwed them in. I'll show you when I get back over here. Give me a... But like, you can see these. I, I had to adjust these to tighten them up to keep the four by fours in. And then you just attach the two by fours right here. And it's like not perfect. Like none of this is perfect stuff, but holds the freaking dogs in. And uh, yeah, and then we just put these boards against, I don't know how much this cost. The materials. Oh my lord, I don't know. Like each individual like picket, they call these pickets. I think these were like five bucks. Six six feet tall. One of these is five bucks. So I don't know how much. But I bet you I spent five hundred bucks, three to five hundred bucks on the pickets alone. Which is the most expensive part because the, the, the four by fours, they're expensive, they're not cheap, but there's not that many. I think I did like 20 of them. So they might have been 150 to 200 bucks and then and maybe 500 four to 500 of the, the pickets and yeah so we just got chip the wood chips the wood chips is free by the way they some guy some guy just delivered a whole ton of them uh and uh, we had to wheel we had to wheelbarrow them inside and uh and yeah so there's a lot of stuff left to be done with this place um you can see that we had to build this little lattice fence here so that 
because the fence was too, the, the black fence you can see behind it was too, was like only three feet high. So like dogs could jump over or whatever. So I just made that so that can't happen. And um, you know, it looks, I think it looks kind of cool from this, from this angle, from this perspective. And there's a lot we can do with it right now, but at least now we've got a little bit of a dog run. The dogs go, they rip around. They have a blast out here. Uh, especially in the wood chips area, but even on the, the gravel, they don't run hard, but they dance, they play, they wrestle. Uh, they love it out here. And in the snow, man, it's so good. It's just basically um, like an entire dog park, a public dog park when it's in the snow in the winter time. So once we get this asphalt dealt with, the summertime is, uh, is gonna be perfect as well. Anyways, I wanted to wrap that project up just so that you saw how it ended. Um, again the biggest component part was i was very concerned about how even the footings were and how flush they were and if i was building a house probably really important but this just to keep a just to keep a, a fence for dogs and it's it's in asphalt like this is i don't even know if you're supposed to be doing that kind of stuff um really i think you're supposed to dig augers into the ground and that's anyways that's not what i was gonna do that's obviously <laughs> that's not what i did um but I, I don't i don't really think i've ran into a technical challenge the biggest challenge was like physical might having to like there was times where i had to push hard from the the jackhammer into uh the footing and then there was a time when i broke the footing and then i had to pound it right into the ground and then do a new hole that was annoying uh yeah, I can't think of anything else. There was nothing technically challenging about this project. You shouldn't you shouldn't hesitate to do this if if you're considering it. Um, I paid I paid less than a thousand dollars to get that whole entire fence up, and I was getting quotes from contractors for four to eight thousand dollars, and I was going to just pay it, and they just people just 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 didn't show up and do the project. That's why I did it myself, and I'm pretty happy I did because now I know how to do it. The basics of things and i also saved a bunch of money too so anyways take care guys